What's up guys, welcome back to Piggy Garage. Today I have a 2022 F-250 Lariat blacked out package. Well, Tremor blacked out. Um, so the blacked out pretty much gives you the blacked out front grill there. The blacked side emblems, black wheels, and then you got the little Tremor tag. So what sets the Tremor apart from a stock F-250 is it gives you about a two inch leveling kit um, and a little bit more ride st stability and whatnot. I actually made a video on a 2022 F-250 Tremor Platinum. Um, so this is a lower model and I'm gonna go ahead and take you through this full truck. Um, here is the window sticker on this guy. So the total MSRP on the 2022 Lariat uh, Tremor package that's blacked out um, is $85,695. Now this truck does has have a Carly commuter suspension, which after this video, I'm actually gonna make a review on the Carly suspension, which is about 6,000, a little over $6,000. And then you have to have someone install it. And it also has 37 inch Nitto Ridge Grappler tires. Um, going through the, um, the truck for the diesel engine is $10,000. Gooseneck hitch, $250. Tremor off-road package is $3,975. The black appearance package um, is $4,295. Power running boards, which come out when you open the, the doors, which is a super cool feature on both the driver and passenger side. That is $995. Rapid heat supplemental heaters, $250. We have the power moonroof twin panel i'll show you guys that it's up there i guess when i tr turn the truck on i'll open that up but that is how much is that oh 1495 dollars adaptive cruise control which allows you to set the distance between the vehicle in front of you and it'll do fully start and stop i'll explain that further when i get in the car that's $500 adaptive steering. So it'll actually steer for you, which is a thousand dollars. So it'll actually keep you between the lines and uplifter switches, $165 universal garage doors, which go up there on the sun visor, $125. So the base price is $53,830. And total options are $31,000, destination delivery, $1,600. So total before discounts is $87,000 for a brand new 2022 F-250 Lariat Tremor with blacked out package, which they actually aren't going to offer anymore in 2023. And 2023 is going to have some different features, which in the back here, I'll show you. It'll have a little plastic piece with like little cutouts for exhaust, which don't like. And then there will be a plastic piece here too. And some other changes. They haven't really talked to it, but I talked to my Ford dealer and he kind of spilled the beans on those. Along with, there will not be a blacked out package. So you will not be able to black out, uh, get the option that blacks out this, blacks out the lights and the, and the front uh, grill and all those things, blacked wheels. Um, it'll be a white out package. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take you guys around the truck. It does have a front tent. Oh, the mirror caps are also blacked out. As you can see, I forget what else I'm missing, but I'll put whatever I miss in the description. I'm kind of don't really want to do the whole talking to tell you guys about the truck with power and towing, because I'll just put that in the description. I just want to show you guys the details of the vehicle what it comes with, what it has. It's got this little side slip, which is nice feature. Allows you to jump in the back pretty easily. Um, oh, come on, go ahead. Oh, why isn't it going in? Durder, come on. Oh, 
there we go. You got to lift up on it. That's ant research backlight. The power tailgate comes down nice and smooth. It does have the step with the handle to get in the back of the truck. Very easy for short kings, as everyone says these days. Um, and then you have the lined uh, bed liner. In order to get this down, you push down. Oh, it's going to hurt me. And then there's another piece in here. You press it, and then it goes right back in. Pretty nice and easy. Um, you have two outlets in the back here. Also lights, tie downs, and it's a true truck bed. My TRX does not have that full length truck bed. You can see the exhaust there. The new ones, like I said, the exhaust will come out the back. Taking you into the back seats. There you can see the amp research bars go down. I like these little plastic pleat pieces that they added. Um, weather mats for, oh, there's the back seat. You have no heated or AC seats in the back. That's something that you do get in the Platinum. That's a little bit different. Here's a little cargo bin. This goes all the way down. You can collapse it fully. Um, it goes down like this. I have to get the other side open. Pretty nice. You can put your guns in there, groceries. There's like a separator too. All those things. Um, very spacious. I'm six foot three and I got plenty of headroom. As you guys can see, lots of room. There's the inside cabin. From the back, you have the big display. Very nice. Leather's pretty nice as well. Not as nice as the Platinum, I can admit to that. Here's the, and on the other side. Take you around, you can see the suspension. Like I said, I'm gonna do a full suspension review on the Carly commuter, along with a comparison of what the difference is between the commuter, pin top, uh, back country and they have an e-venture now as well. The lights are so sick. I love the new lights on the F250s, 350s, all the super duties. Really cool. Let's go ahead and inside and I'll show you some of the other features. If you haven't checked out the video on the, um, what is it? I did a video on the F250 Platinum. You guys can see all that. Oh, let's see here. Turn the Series XM down, but you can see huge infotainment system. You have navigation, Apple CarPlay hooks up to your to your um, phone, Android Auto. You can do a full display and split the screen however you want. So you can see audio, climate, bed camera. Oh, I don't want to connect the phone. Navigation. See what we got here. So it'll load the map. Music. Whatever you might want to do. Leave it on climate. And then on this side, you got everything as well. Different apps, your vehicle. Different things. Really nice screen. Heat AC uh, seats. You got storage up here, wireless charger. USB-C, regular USB, um, trailer, brake, and all that stuff. Two, oh, there's no trailer, okay, nice. Uh, two high, four high, four low. Here's the um, ad adaptive crew con cruise control. So like I said, this allows you to uh, pick the distance between the vehicle in front of you. Uh, one car length, two car lengths, three car lengths, four car lengths and it'll maintain that distance, your whole ride in the vehicle, and it will go fully to stop and go. So if you're in traffic and it goes to zero, it'll hold that for like 10 to 20 seconds. If the car in front of you starts moving, the truck will move again. You don't even have to touch the brake or gas. It'll do it automatically. The lane assist, once you turn it on, I don't know where that is. I forget. Um, I wonder where it is. Oh, right here, lane assist. 
this button right here will keep you in between the lanes. If you turn that on and off, trash control, exhaust brake, um, and then these are all the cameras, the 360 degree cameras, which is really nice. Let's see what our options are here. So you can see the front, you can see the tailgate, the hitch, that's super nice for backing up. Oh, back, 360, front. So it's really cool, super simple touch, brings you through the screen, helps you to park back up to the trailer, everything else. You have the uh, climate controls here as well. Um, if you wanna turn on the heated uh, steering wheel, I found that there is no easy way to do it. The best is to put the climate control here and hit that right there. Um, what else do I wanna show you guys? Oh, right now on the Carly suspension and 37 inch tires, we're seeing about 14.7 miles per gallon. Good thing diesel prices are coming down. But taking you through some of the different things, you can see off-road status. So it'll show you the pitch and everything of the vehicle. We'll show you the tire pressure, speedometer. You can change some different views. Here's the, the distance, 14.8 miles per gallon. Tire pressure, digital speedometer. Let's go to, this will show you uh, fuel economies. Here's towing information, different trailer setups, towing statuses, off-road, blind spot. This is allows you to turn on all the settings. Blind spot is on the rear mirrors right there. It'll show you whether a car is beside you so you can change lanes, you have driver alerts, pre-collision pre pre warnings where it'll actively turn on the brake uh, when it senses you're getting too close to a vehicle. Gauge selections, lanes keeping, whole bunch of stuff, which is really cool. Really advanced vehicle. Um, what's also nice, it has the B&O speaker option. So the speakers in here are insane. Really nice speaker option in the truck. I don't know if it's as good as the Dodges, but it's not too bad. I'll go ahead and start it up super quiet in the cabin let me open we'll go outside and i'll open up the, the hood you guys can hear the truck it's quiet stock and then the heart of the beast Oh. There we go.
But yeah, there is the F250 2022 Tremor. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all about this truck. It's an awesome truck. I think Ford is killing it. Can't wait to see what they bring next year and the differences. But yeah, it's a thumbs up if you guys are thinking about picking one of these up. Check out my other review on the 2022 F350 Tremor Platinum Edition. And then you can compare it to this guy and see the differences. And also keep a lookout for my F250 Carly uh, Commuter Suspension Review where I'm going to give you a full price breakdown. Let you know if it was worth it and compare it to the Pintop, Backcountry, and eVenture Carly suspension systems. Thanks for watching as always and stay tuned for more videos.